All right. We got Stone Fang right here. We uh just need to do this, World 5, and then like half of World 1, and then we are done with another run. And then knowing that just based on the way like things have gone lately, we'll probably be playing Demon Souls in like another few days. We got a DS3 run next. And then we're going to somehow roll Demon Souls again because <laughs> I just keep rolling Demon Souls somehow. All right, soul remains, soul remains. Can I even get this off, you think? I'm just going to keep getting mauled by dogs. Oh my god. I, dude, I can't do anything. <laughs> Might not be the best place for that. That didn't they didn't stay down there, huh? Go get the go get the thing, not me. Stop it! This is like awful. Move. Really? Okay. We're free. I should have picked up some more soul remains when uh, we were at what's his face. I forgot to. Would have been a good idea though. Oh, wrong way. Chuck them out in the middle. Like these things are just so good. Because almost everything gets aggroed to them. So they don't, and then they eat you alive. Stop. Go after the remains. Oh my god. A little hairy there, but made it through. Kind of sucks that you have to drop back down there to to go forward. You know, I wonder, can you, maybe you don't even, do you need this lever? If you have water veil, I wonder. Can you just walk across the fire? I wonder. Never tried it. Just gonna grab this as insurance. You know what would be cool? Foggate randomizer for this game, I think, would be fun. Because there's a lot of just, like, little fog gates like that one. Yeah, move. Okay, I'm gonna die. Move. Move more. I can't believe I'm, like, not dead. There are so many points where I just think I should have died here. And somehow we're still making it through. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can't do a fog ant randomizer for Demon Souls because it's not on PC, but if it ever gets ported to PC, which, you know, maybe in like 10 years <laughs> it will, uh, then, you know, maybe. I don't know, dude, Returnal came to PC, or is coming to PC, like, I don't see why this won't. Or can't, anyway. It's just a matter of whether or not Sony wants it to. They like to hog the, the From Software exclusives. Yo, hit the handle! I hit X. And then I always forget where to go here. This way. Hmm. 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what would come to PC first. Demon Souls or Bloodborne? Honestly, I feel like it would be Demon Souls. Like, there's just, there's so many fog gates in Demon Souls. Way more than just, like, the boss door. That's something they went away from, too, later, like, in later, uh, games. Like, I don't think DS3 has any fog gates, aside from PvP ones that are, like, just in the, you know, transitory, that aren't leading to a boss, anyway. There was, what, two already in this level? I don't know if there are any more, though. Might be it. At least for World 2. World 3 has some, World 1 has some. A lot, actually, probably. Like, I, I think a fog gate randomizer for this game would be really good. The thing is, you don't really, like, the, I don't know, just like, it's from an item randomizer perspective, there aren't really, like, that many key items you would need. And, like, what's a win condition for, for Demon Souls? You just beat all the Arch Demons? Like, you could do that without really even exploring the map. Like, if you had a really good seed, and you got all the Arch Demons, like, right away, like, you would just, you would just win. It's like you need to find Lord Souls, the Lord Vessel, Coiled Sword, Great Runes, whatever, you know? I don't even think I can level. I'm not gonna, not gonna bother. Oh, nice! That one shot him. I didn't think that would. I guess are these guys weak to pierce damage. Maybe they just don't have a lot of health. That's the thing with with the NG plus. Like I, I don't feel like regular enemies get much more health. It's just they hit so hard. Everything just hits harder. Which honestly, you know, that's kind of like how I'd almost prefer. Oh, I'm dead. That's how I prefer like NG plus to be. Until I die like five times and. World 5, anyway. Oh, like, look at that damage, dude. Guy's crazy. It's nice killing that guy in one hit, though. What did I do in the last time? Like, I came down here. I can't remember. I dropped down a different way than I normally do, but I don't remember what I did. And I, I liked it better than what I was doing. I think I went this way. Oh, yeah, look at that. How do I get out of here? 
Where's the, where's the, oh, there it is. I think there's going to be runs where I have to farm these guys. They drop, uh, something. Can't remember what. Some sort of stone. I kind of hate not doing this at full health, because Flame Laker is going to hurt. But I also don't want to get more health and then lose it dying to Flame Laker. That damage is not great either. He's got a lot of health. Pretty tanky. What? Look at that damage. What is this? as a menace to society. The demon soul society. And then he just he just goes right through you. I think he just like loses you with a thief's ring or something, because he just seems to be confused. <laughs> oh man. Staggered him there. like just screwed there huh you can't really roll out of that even if you like dodge the hit there's like still a lingering hitbox yeah even at full health there I think I would have been dead maybe not I don't know flame Lurker is just a rough fight that I don't completely understand. At least the run back is, like, pretty quick. Like, that big slam is just not good. He, does he... I don't think he hops in front of you. Does he? He just slams. He always either hops back or, like, off to the side. Like, it almost feels like it's... I wouldn't say it's the best thing to say in front of him, but like, I don't know, just a weird fight. Like now he's gonna hop on me. Yep. I just feel like whenever I do this fight, I'm just running for most of it. He's got range too. What? Excuse me? How did that hit? Like, it's just a horrible lingering hitbox, man. You can't go in right away. Now I'm dead, though. I think a lot of people really like Flame Lurker, and I, I would not say he's one of my favorites. 
If I understood it and it made sense to me, maybe I'd like it better, but like... I guess if you just like the fact that it's hard, I get that. But... For me, it's like, I, I like hard bosses if they make sense to me. And Flame Lurker just doesn't... I can't understand, like... Anything he does. Oh, come on. What, what even happened there? <laughs> No Scarver either, right? Because, uh... Oh, wait, no, he is here. What about... I didn't leave after uh, I died in body form. Not that, it, like, it doesn't matter, but... So I don't need him for anything. I think I, there are some runs I will need him for, because he gives you... Um... Oh my god, I almost just died. I missed that. He gives you something, I can't remember what. Like, some some sort of upgrade material. If you show him the Dragon Bone Smasher, so I'll need to have, like, you know, pure white, world 2. Backwards hits you. You, you just can't even go into that. Like I try to time it so the fire's gone, but like it, it takes a while for it to go away. I think that's probably on the outer edge of the hitbox, anyways. You have to just, like, hope you get lucky and stagger him, and then you can get a few hits in. But you also need, like, a fast weapon for that, because you're doing it with a slow one. Like, you're only getting one hit. And he doesn't always stagger, either. There, no stagger. Which leads to death, probably, sometimes. Not here, though. Not yet. What? What is that damage, man? This guy's insane. Like, what is he doing? He's just hopping <laughs> for no reason. Like, does anyone understand this boss? <laughs> what is he doing? A wall there, of course. Oh my god.
at a at every time you end up killing a boss in this game maybe not every time but what they do when they transition out with the music is they 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 make a it sounds very similar like the the most similar to like the original uh ost like they they do it's literally like two seconds but you know and it's still the symphony but like they changed the timing of the measures, I think, like on the on the Flame Lickers song, especially, right? Like it sounds completely different. The meter in uh, in this version versus the OST, but it sounds a lot similar to the meter in the original. At the very end, after you beat the boss, they do it on Man Eaters too. Uh, Main Estrella, kinda. That one's just very different. Maybe not so much Tower Knight. I don't know. It, it happens sometimes. Not every time, I guess. Hopefully I can, like, tank a punch here, because I probably am going to get hit somewhere. Like, now. Oh, <laughs> barely. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Yeah, the bottom part is, like, so much easier because the pillars are just, like... The, the columns you have to break are, like, right next to pillars, which is nice. Except for the one up there, obviously. Alright, just turn. So what's left? World 5 and then a little bit of, uh... World 2, or World 1. Just half of World 1. But honestly, these are probably, like, some of the worst running sections. 1-3 is bad. At least I have a rough time with it. Probably better with Soul Remains, though. And 5-1 I have a rough time with, too. Dude, what, like, a cool fight that could be? Like, if, if, if you saw that, if you saw that boss in, like, another Souls game, it'd probably be, like, some epic fight, right? And then in this game, it's just, like, beta chaos. Beta beta chaos, essentially. Uh, we got 11 soul remains. I should get more healing, actually. Let me do that first. Stock up on it. What level am I at, also? I think I, I've been ending around like 90. Yeah, 89. Oh, hello. Let's do... Probably overkill, but whatever. It's fine. I saw 59k left. Oh, did I? I think I just went to the Nexus. Oh, well. It's fine. Heat 
48. I kind of missed the guy I was trying to hit. That's all right, though. I missed the. Oh, no, I didn't miss it. Well, I'm dead, so. Uh, what? Okay. I lived. I cannot believe I just lived. Like, this is not at all what I meant to do. <laughs> Whoops. Worked out, though. Uh, that's gonna kill me, though. <laughs> of course. I I went to the wrong place first. Like, I, I didn't even land in the right spot. Like, I, I, I don't know. I didn't want to land on the drawbridge. I, I needed to run past it. I just wasn't thinking, because I kind of forgot where to go here. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go this way. And just, like, had a brain fart. Mm, where's my soul remains? Not where I meant to put that. It's okay, though. When I came down here, I went to the right spot. I just missed this. Or this here, for good measure. Check one of these. Honestly, you can probably get through, like, most of this just with soul remains without even hitting anything. This part kind of sucks, though. Can I just throw the soul remains? No, cannot. I'm dead. Damn it. Hmm, okay. I hate five one. Like that dude almost dealt half of my health. I just don't know, like, I just throw them in random places, man. I don't know where I'm throwing these. I don't know who gets aggroed to them. Go get them. I just need to throw them away from where I need to go, mainly. Uh, where's the thing? Oh, here. What? That kills you? I would have lived if I landed two feet higher. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Honestly, though, shield, I, th I think a shield's like your best friend until you run into one of these guys anyway. Who just like wipes out your entire health bar. Another one almost hit me there, too. Uh, let's go Put one of those there. Throw another one over here, I guess. Try again. Oh, there's a spear guy there, too? Okay, you need to not be on the stairs. No, 
this is such a bad spot. What's this guy doing? Oh my god! Yeah, I'm probably dead here. I think I'm dead. Uh, I got a guy behind me, right? Yeah, this is a problem. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh my god. Can you move? Can you guys, like, get out of my way? Okay, we're good. Somehow. Oh, that's stressful. This should be quick. Just heal or something, man. Or just die. That works. Okay. Really, the only thing I'm concerned with now is 1-3. I think everything else will be, like, fine. The swamp kind of sucks, but... The boss isn't bad, Main Estrella is not bad, which is really just Garl Vinland. And I don't even think a lot will be that bad. I'm pretty comfortable with that fight now. He, he can just, like... Just have, like, crazy damage out of nowhere, but... I have a good amount of health, I think. We'll be okay. I don't even know if I want to get the shortcut, to be honest. Just seems like it's not worth it. Now. I have a good amount of health. You know, now I'm probably going to die. I'm, like, guaranteed to die to Dirty Colossus. After saying it. This run back really is just long. It's, like, it's not even that bad. There aren't that many enemies in your way. It's just a long ways away from the boss. So slow. Yeah, soul remains though are uh, like the key to getting through this game pretty quickly. I think they're they're just so good, man. Oh, Selen's here. It is pure white. Sick. Not that it matters, but it's kind of cool. Oh, I don't have the regenerator ring, do I? Oh, sick. Might help for, uh, what's his face, too? Dirty Colossus, if I get flight on. Yeah, I still can't believe there's an encounter with, like, five or whatever of those big dudes somewhere. I can't remember where it is. I think it's over there. Yeah, you can see him. You just saw him pop up. There's at least four of them. You know, you can't roll in the swamp. Those guys are probably faster than you are in the swamp. And there's like three items over there, but they're guarded by four of the worst enemies. They put two of them here, too.
I always take this way now. It's probably slower, but I think it's safer than fighting these guys. Or running into them and having them just, like, delete you. Also, I might get repoisoned if I didn't already. Go up? Oh, we can only go up over here. Oh, sick. Poison literally just ran out. I need to move. Horrible time to for him to do that. Oh, he just got me with flies at the end too. I think they do they go away after he dies? Are they still I think they're still on me. No, oh, they went away there. Eroded demon soul. All right, just uh, made Astraya and then penetrator and a lot. That's it. And then obviously the last dude. This has been like the smoothest by far. NG plus. Like, can't believe it's going this quickly. Should be done pretty quickly, assuming 1-3 goes all right. Because this shouldn't be too bad. You will not turn back, will you? Just got to parry this dude, hit him like four times. Yeah. Oh. Why must you pests insist on intruding upon our haven? You abandoned us long ago. What right do you have? Live humble lives. Leave us be. Yeah, like the the theme in this one, it just has like this weird triplet thing going on. But you'll hear when when uh, well, maybe you can't hear it because it might not be that loud. But when she dies, they kind of lose the the triplet feel, and it goes back to like the the normal feel. It's like right after she dies, I think. Probably right around here somewhere. A lot slower, though. Sweet. Okay, so yeah, just World 1 to finish, and then we're done. I was like any World 1. I don't know why, it just it feels proper, at least with a want, anyway. Get that to 50. We can bump this up. Sure, why not? Yeah, I think level 90 is probably, like, what I should just plan for when I do these runs. Whenever I make builds. I feel like most of the time, though, I'm going to be starting Temple Knight, unless I'm doing, like, magic or something. Alright, well, this part's going to suck. 1-3 one, one is just so annoying. But with soul remains, maybe it won't be so bad.
One four is not really that bad at all. One four is like one red eye knight. That's like the only problem. And then I guess the dragon can be a nuisance, but it's usually all right. Question is, do I get the shortcut or not? I might get it. Hey, hey another fog gate right here. Yo, dude, what? Stop! Oh, he's chasing. I'll probably get the shortcut. Assuming I make it through here anyway. I will tank that damage every time. It does, like, nothing to you. Better than running back down into, like, three dudes. I'm gonna grab the shortcut. Didn't mean to jump off there, though. Get the soul remains ready. If we get to Penetrator, we'll probably be fine. And then a lot. That's it. And then the other a lot, which is a joke. Yo, lag. Okay, let's do soul remains here. Not there, dude, it never goes where you want it to. Like, that is not where I wanted to throw it. I'm trying to throw it. I guess you have to look with your camera. Okay. Go get him. All right. Yeah, that makes it so much easier. Okay, the weapon's not going to break, surely. Right? In the middle of the fight? I I don't think it has to go all the way down for it to break. I don't know where it breaks, though. Because if it's at, like, 25% or something, it kind of would suck. Oh, great. Good start. I do not miss fat rolling in this fight. The Bramdrin was tough just because of the fat rolling. <laughs> the weapon was cool, but... Using Garl Vinland's armor, probably not the best idea. Like that. It's fun, though. Definitely unique. I, I don't think there's going to be another run like that, though, because there's nothing that heavy. Can you stop? You know what kind of sucks, too, is that, like, when I do Penetrator Sword, I will never be able to use the Penetrator Armor, because it's just, like, not worth it to get it. Um, I want to repair this, and then we'll do a lot, and then we'll do the other a lot, and then we'll be done. Yeah, I know, man. I'm, wait. No, not upgrade. Repair. 
It's 2,000, I think, for a sharp stone or, or the sharpening, whatever it is. The thing that you use to repair. 2,000 souls, and then I can repair everything for, like, 1,300. Like, why would you ever get a sharpening stone? Not worth it. I guess if you want to, like, use it when you're, like, away from a blacksmith, but... Other than that, like, there's no real point. Yeah, the only real issue with this part is this guy up here. Maybe you can just run past. <laughs> and then... I guess the dragon, kind of, but not really. I'd say the Red Eye Knight is more annoying. Is he gonna... What's he doing now? Yeah. Okay, please don't hit me. Ah, that was close. Pretty close. <laughs> I love how he just walks off, man. It's so stupid. Oh my god. That's probably a good way, actually, to, like, fight a lot of the Red Phantom NPCs. Like, Satsuki and 4-1. Oh, God, that's gonna be miserable. When, uh, you have to do the Hiltless. Or whenever I have to get... pure... pure white character tendency, I think? I don't know. There's probably gonna be, like, a couple situations where I have to kill him. This has definitely been a quick run. Like, the time here won't tell you, because I spent... This is, like, three hours of uh, farming bladestones. But other than that, it's been, like, five hours. Right? Because I think we did... We did two, I want to say, or was it three last time? I think it was two and three today. Oh, he didn't do the... He didn't do a dash attack. Ow. Okay, now he's going crazy. Stop it, old man. I think Miyazaki really loves the old man as a uh, final boss theme. Got it going on here, you got it with Gwyn. Got it with, uh, Airman. I guess Radagon's an old man, kind of. Doesn't look like one necessarily, but... It's probably older than this guy. And Godfrey is almost a final boss. Has he done the big AoE yet? I haven't really been paying attention, to be honest. Oh, I guess this guy, to be fair, isn't the final boss. He's he pretty much, he should be. But... Is this like fighting Nish... I can't even say that. Nishandra's not equivalent to this guy. Nishandra's kind of a pushover, but I'd say it's like Nishandra and then Aldia. That's what it feels like. The rest is up to the old 
All these just kind of a blob that shows up. Who actually can really like nuke your health, but I don't know. All these also an optional, whereas this isn't optional. Yeah, we cruised through this one, dude. I was not ready for DS3. I was ready to do this all day. Well, I guess it was three. Yeah, three hours today. Yesterday was two. Either way, King a lot. You're dead. Can you even see a face here? Like, or is it just like a, a horrible blob? Let me see. What is that his face now? Just like totally disfigured? With eyes? Like, I can't tell. You can't really get under him either. I don't know. Like, I can't tell. If you want the Northern Regalia, which you need, you need to combine... It's kind of the, actually the way the, uh, the DS3 weapon we're going to do. It's, it works the same way. You need to combine Soul Brant and Demon Brant. I think you can pick up this weapon and then Nexial Binding out of here and go get it before you, like, see the last cutscene. Like, you pick it up and then just leave. Because I, do, I don't know... Does the cutscene begin if you're just, like, standing here? Or do you actually have to walk next to the thing? What if I go over here? Yeah, I, I think you actually have to go over to the store. So you could just, like, leave, pick this up, leave right now. And then you'd be fine. And come back here after. Yeah, that's uh, that's another run though. Done with the Uchi.